What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Prince of Persia Sands of Time. We are back with episode two, and we just finished getting the Dagger of Time before all hell was unleashed upon... I think we're in... I can't remember what the name of the place is called now. Uh, it starts with A. Uh, but we, we got the Dagger of Time, and then we got... Or rather, the Prince got baited into using the dagger on the hourglass which has now unleashed the sands of time and turned everyone into sand zombies so now we kind of have to undo it so that's what we've got planned for the rest of this uh game uh we we done goofed and we have to fix it uh in the last episode we also uh learned that we had to use the dagger to absorb all of the the bad guys and stuff into the dagger uh, so for those of you who haven't played this game before and you guys are following along that is the recap now uh, I, as I said in the last episode I have played this game before so this is gonna be my replay many years later I played this game back when I was uh, probably like uh, I, I don't even know I think maybe 13 years old so it's been a good over 10 years since I've played this probably longer than that if I'm honest uh, what, what would it be like 10 15 years oh god that makes me feel old <laughs> that's a long time um, so yeah so we're back and we're gonna continue on uh, we had Farah although we don't actually know her name but spoilers her name's Farah uh, run away which was the the girl in red uh, she gives a, a couple of tips. She didn't want us to put the dagger into the hourglass, but she has info. And she also had like this glowing necklace, I noticed. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but she had a glowing necklace, so I wonder if that's related. Uh, because for some reason, we haven't turned into a zombie. I assume it's because we have the dagger. The vizier, which is the old guy, also didn't turn into a sand zombie. And she didn't either, so I don't know if her necklace has something to do with that. I can't remember. I feel like it might, based on what I remember from my first playthrough. Uh, but it's so long ago, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so, and then one, one thing I did notice uh, on this playthrough that I hadn't actually realized was that the Vizier guy, the old dude, seems to be dying. So that seems to be his motivation to... Uh, to want the dagger. I don't know how that's going to help him by using the dagger to what reverse his sickness, maybe as cancer. Maybe he maybe he knows something more about his illness that he figures the dagger of time would help with. Uh, maybe he just wants to use it to cut out some some cancer. You know, maybe that maybe that's the thing. Uh, but yeah, so let's let's continue on. Um, now I noticed in the recording of the last episode, and I I wonder if. Hopefully you guys, it didn't mess with you, but uh, I think one of the cutscenes like seems sped up, so I'm gonna just kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, there might be like a graphical thing we have to Wait. pay attention to and ch fix. Stop. I might have to change the settings. I won't hurt you. All right, we gotta play ch catchy, uh, catch and ch chasey. Was it tag? We gotta play tag. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh yes, yes. Where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. Yeah, because we have the dagger. So, also, just Hello? on on that, how dope would it be to just kind of be stay like stay in one of these rooms, like a massive bed, Is anyone there? all these cool tiled kind of rooms? This would be awesome to to stay in in a palace. Oh, but yeah, what, what I was gonna say. Uh, uh, so, I, don't, I can't remember if I said this in the last episode, but uh, because I played through this, I've heard that there might be like alternate endings or like extras in these games. So, I'm going to aim to 
uh, to play those. Uh, so if there's alternate endings or anything like that, I'm going to seek out playing that. And I know that... Uh, I th I'm pretty sure someone... One of my friends told me that in order to get that ending, you have to get all of the health upgrades. Uh, so we need to keep an eye out on that. Uh, it's either the health upgrades or those sand things that we just collected one of just just now. Uh, but yeah, that should unlock a alternate ending or some kind of extra that we need to pay attention that, that we can that we can I guess play through. So I, I want to pay attention to see to make sure I get all of them so we can unlock that ending. Uh, if you guys notice that I miss any. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like a save per... Oh, actually, I might I might have to just kind of Google it. Since I've already played it, I might Google uh, what how to get the alternate ending. Just so, just so I can kind of be on track and achieve it if I can. Uh, hopefully I won't get spoilers, but yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go for those in each of the games. Uh, and try and, try and see what those are, because since I've... I only played this once. I don't know what those endings might be if they're alternate. Uh, but yes, I do know of the health upgrades though, and I can hear a thingy right here. Alright. Come back! Oh. Camera, please. Thank you. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. Did I make that jump? Oh. Hey. Actually, I want to try if I can actually make that. Just, just so we know for, for future reference. I feel like we weren't gonna make that. I don't. I am not confident that we can make that. Ah oh, man, just the controls in this game, with the triggers on the, uh, on the, the controller with the, uh, just the the fluent movement. Just it just feels so good. This game is definitely best played with the controller. Very the bouncy folk. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I didn't check everywhere. Oh. That's right. The miracle I had experienced by accident in the Maharaja's treasure room, I now discovered that I could trigger at will. By pressing a switch on the dagger's handle, I could turn back time. Turn back time. Okay. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. That's right. There was a sand tank up there. All right. We're good. We're good. Hmm. I think I'm noticing something with the graphics. That I feel like that fog's moving too fast. You guys see that? It's like bounce the way it bounces. That looks that is so weird. Oh, you bouncy folk. Now this game is old, and I'm playing on a pretty like beefy machine, so uh, there might be some uh, issues going on with the graphics. Uh, I'm gonna might I might actually check out the if there's any issues. I'll, I'll check out the settings. I'm not sure. If, I'm pretty sure they're all on Mac, so. Not sure. I've noticed some screen tearing and some jittering and stuff. Oh, combat time. Attack me from behind. Yeah. Hmm? Ah. 
baited you into attacking. What'd that say? 16. Retrieve 16. I don't know what that said. Retrieve 16 and something happens. Did not jump there. That was weird. Oh, whoops! I pressed <laughs> pressed the button too soon. It's all good. We're skipping. We're skipping the flashbacks. We don't or the flash forwards rather. Hey, okay, that's the newest one. We want to save over this. Yes. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten, and each time what I had seen came to pass, as if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. I love the way the prince talks. With the thous and thighs. Three. I don't know if it's accurate, but I like it. I hope, they, I hope that's something they don't change. Thing. Actually, I actually didn't check the other room. I don't think we checked for any secrets. Just want to make sure. I don't. I. I'm like really don't want to miss anything. I haven't. I haven't searched. Uh, I haven't Google searched where the things might be. So I just want to. Oh, I can't go back, can I? Wait, what? Slow motion? How did I do that? Well, that, that's new. I right, look around. I guess I guess we're just gonna hope that I didn't miss anything. Oh my god, please. Get get through, thank you. Ow! Oh, we can replay the mission. That's handy. So one thing I've noticed in this game in particular, and this is kind of like from a, a game dev perspective, I suppose, is the texturing, right? Uh, as you could probably tell on the walls, they have a repeating texture on the on the baseboards and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and all of the details, I've noticed uh, this game heavily uses what are called trim sheets. Which are tileable textures that tile in one direction. Which allows you to... Essentially, trim sheets are used in development to essentially get the most detail uh, out of a singular texture. So, for example, uh, the trim sheet would be used on the edging of the wall, so you've got like the corner seeing and stuff. But you could also reuse that texture in other places and in other details elsewhere. And it allows you to kind of uh, get a lot of mileage with your textures. And because uh, this is based in, what, India? Slash Persia? Uh, I don't think this one's based in Persia, actually. I'm pretty sure we're in India. Uh, but yeah, uh, because there's so many like tiles and ceramic uh, aesthetics in that part of the world, uh, it kind of allows and leverages. Oh, <laughs> that was a that was buggy. Uh oh. <laughs> the game's just playing itself. I didn't even touch the controller. All right, all right, chill, chill. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, use, utilizing trim sheets because they tile. And because there's a lot of repeating patterns and tile work, uh, and this is based in India where they use a lot of tiles and ceramics, it's almost like the perfect way to texture 
uh, your games. It allows you to do it in a very optimized way. Come on. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want to go in that hole. Thank you. <laughs> Aha, yes. Okay, we're at our first health upgrade. So these are the rooms we need to look for. We need to hit, look for this kind of music. So there's a health upgrade down these down these pathways. What the? Hello? Is anyone there? I have a feeling I'm not in Azad anymore. Water. Special water. As you can see on the, the archways of those columns, the repeating the repeating textures they were used in uh, other wall sections. Oh, but yeah, so I've been like paying a little bit of attention to, I suppose, how they've been made, how how they would have made this game, especially because this was like this was back on the PlayStation Two, so uh, the the resources they would have access to would be very very limited. I'm pretty sure. Wait, the PlayStation 2 didn't even have like, a gig of RAM. It was like only a few, few hundred megabytes. So, to be able to store a ton of different Hello? textures just was not possible. Oh, man. Okay, okay. So, we're getting a bunch of bugs. I'm going to just quickly look at the settings uh, to see if there's any. Special effects, everything's on high, fog, okay, it might be, so I'm playing this through Steam, and Steam allows you to do kind of uh, launch expressions, which uh, essentially tells the game to run in certain ways, uh, if I keep getting kind of weird bugs, I might have to investigate that, oh hello, Give me the dagger. speaking of bugs, who are you? I am Farah. What? <laughs> Wait, are we going super fast or is the dialogue? I saw my father turn to sand. And we will share. Oh, I know what's going on. Do not give me the dagger to undo what you have done. Your traitorous vizier used the same words. Okay. Oh, I'll explain what's happening now in a sec. I trust no one but myself. Run! <laughs> Go back to the reception hall! Wait for me there! Go! It's interesting how even animals are affected by the sands. Now I remembered her. Since we left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me, we were three. True, there is the vizier. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna explain what just happened with the with that bug. I think this might actually be interesting. It's kind of uh, my my field. So uh, for those who don't know, I'm a developer, and one of my primary roles as uh, is, well, rather the role that I play as a developer is I'm a technical artist. So for me, for my job, it's uh, basically my job to know how to create things visually from a technical standpoint. So how the rendering engine works uh how lighting and all that sort of stuff works how to create certain effects how the cloth simulation that we currently have wigging out in the back uh all of that sort of stuff works and if we want to create cool effects uh often i'm the one who is the first who's consulted about how we could go about creating that effect for example as you can see on the walls which i noticed in the f in the previous episode i uh, see this effect this is called caustics uh it's an effect that Anything that's transparent 
that reflects light can create these cool patterns because of the reflection of the light. Uh, so working out how to do that on the walls would have been a uh, job of a technical artist to kind of be like, okay, we could use this texture with this animation, etc. So uh, that's kind of my job. And what I've noticed and the reason why the games are wigging out is the frame rate because it's running on a pretty beefy computer and this game was made like a good what almost 20 years ago uh it's it's not used to being able to run this fast so the reason why that cutscene played really quickly but the audio didn't was because the frame rate of the engine is currently running faster than it would normally would uh, so there's actually a really easy fix for this, which is V-Sync. So uh, I'm not sure how to enable it. We don't ha we didn't have V-Sync in the settings, uh, but it actually uh, special special effects high shadow water fog. So we don't have any V-Sync. Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, we do. Aha! You see, V-Sync's disabled. Okay, hopefully this doesn't mess with my recording. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. Let's enable this. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and as you can see, look, look at the... You can already tell the motion of the... The cloth seems a little bit more natural. It's not wigging out as much. We'll, we'll find out with the um, with the animations coming up. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why that was happening is because a game engine, specifically this game engine, the way it's coded is that it's coded to what is called a clock. Uh, in, if you've ever played Minecraft, you probably are familiar with the idea of ticks. Uh, the ticks run off of a Usually a tick is like there's four ticks per second in Minecraft. Uh, but in other game engines, like for example a first person shooter game engine, you usually have your tick rate running much, much faster. And essentially all that means is that this is the tick the faster the tick rate, the less calculations you can do per tick, right? Because you want it to run faster, you want more ticks to run. Uh, in the case of this game engine because it has access to hardware that can run much faster, the tick rate of the engine... Oh, actually, look, we can even see the fog. See that? The fog's not bouncing up and down. It actually looks like fog now. Uh, the frame rate of the fog and other aspects isn't running at super speed. Because we're limiting how fast it can run. The engine... Uh, I would assume was naturally limited by the hardware back in the day so it wasn't able to run faster but because we have a much more beefy computer than this engine was ever designed to run on uh, it's almost like it's able to run faster with certain things so effects like the, the fog or the cloth all of that is driven by the CPU uh, which is able to run much faster uh, you probably won't... It, actually, you'll notice there's a disparity between the uh, effects and other aspects of the game that run... Some parts run fast and some parts run slow with V-Sync turned off. The reason for that is because the graphics card is naturally limited to your frame rate of your monitor. So, that's probably what was happening, is we're getting the audio and all that sort of stuff that gets sent to my monitor to then be played out through my headphones and all that sort of stuff. So that's already got a natural limit. But the effects in the engine, they get sent to the CPU first in order to be calculated. So they run a lot faster so that when they finally reach the graphics card, they're, they're running up like four times as fast. So yeah, if, if any of that is interesting to anyone <laughs> except for me, uh, let me know down in the comments if that's, uh, if that's interesting. The hourglass. What? I did not understand the meaning of what I had just seen, but I knew 
with a certainty I could not explain, that those winged creatures had a master. The man who had tricked me into opening the hourglass now had his prize. Oh, and for some secrets. unknown purpose, coveted the dagger as well, would stop at nothing to possess it. Well, I would give him what he sought. I would plunge it into his foul and treacherous heart. Oh, yeah. I was going to say something and I forgot. Oh yeah, so I don't, I, I don't know if this ever comes up in the game, but if he just said that the birds had a master, those winged creatures, does that mean the vizier can control all of these animals that we're fighting? Is that why we're fighting them? Really interesting. Like I, I didn't actually expect that detail to kind of be rattled off in dialogue. I wonder if that was done uh, in the story for the sake of creating some additional cool, char cool characters or cool enemies that weren't just people. So they like added that as a, a little bit of a, a way that they could add scarabs and Oh, so speaking of scarabs. That fixed my camera issue too. That's good. <laughs> Glad we figured that out. Yeah, because like I was pressing the left and right thumbstick and it's like almost like not moving the camera it's just struggling so that's handy right, so if you guys are having difficulties there you go there's the solution uh, just enable v-sync uh, this is also for other old games uh, as well that would probably be the issue is just limiting the frame rate uh, some games might not have v-sync so I have to find like a different way of doing it but if you're ever wondering how to fix it, uh, that is likely the issue. Run upwards, please. Thank you. Secrets. Wait, I see a thing over there. Oh. Wait, is this where we just came from? Yes. <laughs> Wrong way. Wait, is it? <laughs> I may be lost. We climbed up there. We we're down there, so we're trying to get where. We climbed up that pole. We came from over there. We're on that ledge. Oh yeah, okay, so we came in, we're okay, we're go okay, we're going the right way. I, I think. Oh yeah, okay, I see we we're gonna go down. Oh not that way. <laughs> Wrong button. See, there are enemies, which means that we have not been here.
Now where do we go? Just so how she flew that. Now, I'm thinking one of the changes that's going to come is definitely going to be the uh, the design of some of these characters. Like, for example, I'm pretty sure the only female enemy in this game is dressed up like that. So I have a feeling that's probably going to get a change, right? Yeah, they're, they're just very much like. Are they, are they called concubines? So I hope I hope that gets improved. Right, we we'll get some cooler cooler designs for enemies. Maybe even some more. Um, some more designs too. They have the opportunity to do that. Oh my god, I'm so low on him. Sands, thank you very much. And we need health. That's our thing here. Right. Wow. Actually, I just realized this is a bed. Man, you imagine being in this room? I actually don't know if I could sleep if I was in the very middle of a giant room. That... That would be... Oh, I just realized. This is probably like a pleasure palace, right? Like... that. Maybe the characters make a lot more sense being here now. Now that I think about it. Maybe this is... The part of the palace where they the guests get yep all right let's go in here well, we got our first puzzle coming up by the looks of it Well, I think I think we're, we've just reached the end of this episode, uh, so I think I'm going to end it here, and we'll be back in the next episode with all that you saw in that vision to come. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, please do leave a like and all that sort of stuff. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this, and also uh, I'm curious to know whether you guys enjoy me talking about kind of the uh, the development side of games and stuff when I do these playthroughs. Uh, so if you if you guys are interested in that sort of stuff, uh, please do let me know in the comments, all that sort of stuff. And if you have any questions as well uh, that you'd like me to answer, do leave those in the comments as well. I'd love to uh, know if you have any questions and would like any kind of answers and stuff. Um, and also, if you guys just want me to shut up and play the game, <laughs> that would also be useful. Because uh, I'm, I'm trying to make my channel uh, uniquely mine. Kind of put my own identity on it provide you guys with some content that is um 
I suppose, something that you might not be able to get on other channels. Uh, so if you guys enjoy that sort of stuff, uh, let me know. I'd love to know uh, if, the, if that's the reason you're here or if you're, the reason why you're here is because of the game and maybe this is an added bonus or, or whatever. Do, let me know all that sort of stuff in the comments and I'd, uh, yeah, I'd love to kind of hear your guys' feedback on that. Um, but yeah, so I think yeah, we're going to end it here and we will be back next week. Uh, if you guys want to stay updated with all of the stuff going on this channel, I just have just had a new series drop uh this week as well called a way out i'm playing that with my best friend uh over uh with, that gets released on the wednesdays uh of my schedule and the prince of persia series is going to be released on the saturday so we've got two series running on this channel currently back to back uh so yeah if you guys are interested in that game definitely go and check out that video next uh and Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified on when new videos come out and all that sort of stuff. And I'll probably also be doing some polls on my channel in the community section uh, to kind of see what games you guys uh, would like me to play. I'll provide you with like an, a few a few games that I'm looking at playing, and I'll see kind of what gauge kind of what you guys want to see me play. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably have some polls going up in the next couple of weeks so definitely stay tuned for those and let me know what kind of games you want to see uh, but until then i uh, thank you guys so much for watching and yeah we'll see you guys next week for the next episode all right see you guys